and welcome back to the Law Office of Brian Fagan YouTube channel. I'm Trey Taylor, an attorney here at the firm, and today we're going to dive into a crucial topic for anyone going through a divorce in Texas, protecting your assets. If you find this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable legal insights. So let's get right into it. When it comes to divorce in Texas, the division of assets can be a complex and contentious issue. To help you better understand how this process works, we'll walk you through a real life scenario. Imagine a married couple, John and Jane, who have decided to divorce. They've been married for 10 years and have acquired several assets during their marriage, including a house, a car, retirement accounts, and a family owned business. In Texas, we follow community property laws when it comes to asset division. This means that most property acquired during the marriage is considered community property and is subject to equal division. However, there are exceptions. Let's break it down. First, separate property. This includes assets owned by one spouse before the marriage, gifts and inheritances received individually during the marriage. In our scenario, if John received an inheritance from his grandparents during the marriage, that inheritance would typically be considered his separate property. Next, community property. This encompasses assets acquired during the marriage, such as the house and the family-owned business. These are typically divided equally between the spouses in a divorce, but there can be exceptions based on factors like fault in the divorce or a prenuptial agreement. Now, let's talk about mixed property. This is where things can get a bit more complex. If one spouse uses their separate property funds to improve or maintain community property, a portion of the separate property may become community property. In our scenario, if Jane used her inheritance to renovate their house, that could potentially make a portion of her inheritance community property. To protect your separate property in Texas, it's crucial to be able to trace and prove the source of the funds. In our scenario, John would need to demonstrate that the funds used for renovations came from Jane's inheritance. Regarding the family-owned business, it can be particularly complex. Texas law allows for creative solutions like one spouse buying out the other's interest or the business continuing to operate jointly. Consulting with an attorney experienced in business valuation is crucial in such cases. So there you have it, a glimpse into asset protection in a Texas divorce. Remember that each divorce case is unique and it's essential to consult with an experienced attorney to navigate the complexities effectively. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more legal insights. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and if you have any questions or need legal assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to the Law Office of Brian Fagan. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Because you tuned in to the end of the video, we're giving away a free copy of the Texas Divorce Handbook. To claim your free copy, click on the link in the description below, and we'll see you in the next one.